Hi there and welcome back to another Darn Wood Builders. Today we're going to build that elusive uh, bird feeder that we've been talking about. We're going to get into it here in just a few minutes. But uh, with every good project you need a plan. A sketch, uh, something to kind of give you some guidelines to go by. And so uh, today I did one of my rough sketches for you here. I'm going to kind of give you a preview of the way it's going to look eventually when it comes together, the bottom, the side rails, uh, the, the roof, uh, the holder of the bottle itself, that, uh, the supports and things that go on there, and the, and the rail for the bird feeder tray. So all of those things, all of those things uh, have to be incorporated. Now secondly, uh, you have to find a bottle, one that you like. Now I have a few bottles here that I'd like to show you and uh, you can find pretty bottles just about everywhere something like this old wine bottle maybe uh, an old coke bottle or if you don't have anything but an old uh, water bottle or something you can use just about any kind of bottle you want uh, and it'll make a little bit of difference in variation of your plan and basically on the plans here you know the height of the project is based on the height of the bottle which is very simple and, and uh, if you want to measure your bottle you can measure your bottle and then add about four inches and that'll give you your side plate right here that four inches added uh, to your side plate uh, from the height of your bottle and that gives you a pretty much a good proportion uh, on your little uh, bird house slash uh, bird feeder so this is a project that uh, is going to take a little while to make and uh, I'm going to uh, get on the table saw over here And I'm going to use this old wood here that has this beautiful old weathered look that'll give us uh, You know a beautiful uh, Project when we're done and it'll be able to just blend right in out there and the birds will love it uh, They may even stay away from your donut peach tree if you feed them Anyway, I'll be right back when we get the table saw set up and we'll rip some of this wood down to what we're going to need is a bunch of three inch pieces and uh, one five inch piece so we're going to get that started right now and we'll be back in just a few moments all right now i'm over here at the table saw i've got it set up uh, to rip uh, what it looks like i got it set on there that's a three inch three inches uh, to make a nice rip in this wood here to set up ourselves so we can chop them up in littler pieces to make our sides our ends our bottle supports and things so I'm going to turn this saw on here in a minute I'm going to saw a board and then I'll get back to you again in just a few moments all right now you can see that we have uh, put together our three inch pieces of wood here that we have cut down to three inches and this is going to be uh, uh, the sides, the ends, the bottom, except everything except for the bottom is going to be three inches wide. And the uh, trough plate, which is going to be half, one and a half inches wide, according to our drawing. So anyway, we're going to make a lot of this. And then we're going to start showing you how to put this thing together. So I'm going to start cutting the sections out, the, the uh, pieces of wood. And I've chosen this bottle right here. And what I've done is I've measured the bottle and I've added four inches to the side pieces, these pieces right here, which are going to be 14 inches. So as I cut the uh, pieces off of the three inch piece, I'm going to make two 14 inch pieces for the sides right here on the side of this. And that's the way we're going to get the right height proportionally for this little house that goes over the bird feeder. So anyway, I'm going to get started on cutting up these little pieces of wood and then we're going to go and we're going to show you how to assemble it here in just a few moments and I'll be right back. Well now you can see that we've made some progress here. We've got our two sides ripped down three inches. All these boards are three inches here, different lengths. And uh, of course our bottom was supposed to be a five inch board. But I ran out of some boards, in, but you and I will be the only ones that are known. We're going to put two of them together here and make our bottom, which is around five inches. This one's going to be six uh, for the little birds to set on whenever they uh, come and eat their food. We also have a little rail that's going to go right across down here 
where the birds can put their heads in and eat the bird seed when the bottle is tipped upside down like that. And the bottle is tipped upside down like that right there. Now, we also have to do some, uh, in this board right here, we have to put a hole so that this bottle will fit through that hole right there. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to take the diameter, obviously, of this and put us a little, right there in the center, we're going to put us a little hole that matches the diameter here. And in this board up here, and the one that's at the top up there, we're going to take the other end of the bottle and we're going to measure a hole and we're going to cut around that hole uh, so that the bottle can slide up into that hole and rest in that position there in the, in the bird feeder so that we'll have a perfect um, feeding system and that we can just pop the bottle out and pull the bottle out, fill it up, put the bottle back in. So that's the whole idea behind that. So I'm going to do that in just a minute and then we'll start assembling this thing and we'll show you what the finished product looks like. Also right here you'll notice how these joints come together. That's not a very good joint. So I'm going to miter this right here so that this board will fit right up against the end on both sides so that when I staple it with the staple gun, uh, I'll have something to staple down into rather than trying to hit that little tiny corner there. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to do some more work here. And I'd like to be able to show you as I do this, but I don't have uh, eight hands to hold the camera and to uh, cut the wood at the same time. But anyway, uh, we're almost to that point where we can start assembly. And when we get to that point, it's going to go really fast. And you're going to have yourself a marvelous bird feeder. Uh, that you'll be very proud of for a long long time to come so take care and I'll be right back as soon as I get some more of this work done okay we're back and now you can see that I've cut the notch out for the bottle I have the hole cut out uh, ready for the bottle to go into and it's just laying here all together all the parts are in place and we have the bottom over here that when we stand it up for the little birds to come and put their heads in and eat the seed that fall out of the bottle. So uh, right now we're going to uh, go ahead and start putting some glue on the joints in here. A couple of staples in each side. Uh, a staple in the top up here at the top of the roof. And here and here and everywhere that we can put a staple we're going to put a staple and some glue. And then we're going to have the finished product and the bottle will very simply just slide right in. We'll slide right in and we'll rest in that holder and we'll feed until the bird seed gets full and this will be down here a little bit closer so that when it gets full it stops putting seed in there and that's about where it'll be right there and that will be the finished bird seeder, uh, seed feeder in just a few more minutes we'll have a finished product. I'm going to go ahead and pause this again so I can use both hands and uh, have this ready here and this project took about one hour uh, from start to finish. It's a little warm out here in the shop so I had to stop a couple times for a Pepsi break. But anyway, we'll see you uh, again in just a few short minutes with hopefully what is a finished bird feeder. So hold on to your hats. And there you have it, a darn wood bird feeder made out of scrap wood. In just a short time, you have yourself a beautiful thing that you can fill this uh, bottle right here full of bird seed. And very easy to put into play. You just put that right in there and it sets right in there nice and tight. And the seeds fall out down there and the birds can come in right here and just eat all they want. And when that gets empty you can see through the bottle and you can hang that up out there somewhere or put it on a fence and you have yourself a darn wood bird feeder thanks for watching in and uh, keep that sawdust flying until we meet again right here on the darn wood builders